Now, good day, everyone. My name is Graphics. Today, we'll be looking at series connection. A series connection is a kind of connection in a circuit whereby the current are allowed to flow through one direction. They are not divided. Now, what I mean here is this. If I have three resistors connected in series, in this manner, I have resistor 1, connected to resistor 2, connected to resistor 3, right? So, they are connected to a battery or a cell, let me call it a battery, right? So, we we'll say this is uh, R1, this is R2, and this is what? R3, and this is the voltage source here. Now, the voltage produces current, that is I. Now the I flows around the circuit. Since the current flows around the circuit in one direction, like this, so you say this current is what? This circuit is in what? It's in series, because the current that enters resistor 1 is the same current that enters resistor 2, and the same current that enters what? Resistor 3. So, let's see. According to Ohm's law, it says that V is equal to what? IR. That is what? So it is Ohm's law. So what we usually consider in a series connection is that we are always looking for what? The voltage. Because we know that the voltage in a series connection is not the same. But the current throughout the connection is the same. So we have to resistor. So I can really say this is my voltage, my V supply, right? Or I can call it my V equivalent. So I can say the V supply is equal to what? The voltage in this resistor here plus the voltage to does what v3 because we have three resistors which will have different voltage right now we know v is equal to what ir so wherever i see my v i'll put my ir right so i will not write i supply or anything while that's right is what my r equivalent here equals to what my i r1 plus i r2 plus i r3 i'm not putting i1 and i2 because of what in a series connection the current are the same i1 is equal to i2 is equal to i3 so i'm using i throughout here now if i factorize i'll have my i r equivalent equals to what bring the i out because it's common in all points here then you need have left it what R1 plus R2 plus R3. Now this I will equate this. So my R equivalent will now give me R1 plus R2 plus R3. So this is to tell you that in a series connection, you add all the resistors that are in what? That are in series. Now let's take um for example that let's take for instance now let r1 be equal to 2 ohms comma r2 be equal to what 3 ohms r3 be equal to what 4 ohms and um the voltage supply here is right. equal to what 27 volts so if you want to do that so we say that the R equivalent in this case here now will now be 2 plus what 3 plus 4 and we have what 9 watt volts so the total resistance in this circuit here is what 9 volts so we want to know what the current is. 
So recall V is equal to what I R. So if I make I in terms of the formula to be V all over R equals to what I R over R. So R equals R. So my I now will now be equal to what? My I will be equal to what? V over R. So what is the V? The V given here is what? 27. All over the R given is what? Is 9. So my I now will now be given as what? 3 ampere. Is that the key? Because we've already assumed that our R1 in that circuit is given as um, 2, 3, and 4. And the voltage is given as what? Um, let me write it out. So we say this guy here is giving us 27. I mean, it's giving us 27. Yes, oops. Then the R1 is giving us 2 ohms. R2, 3 ohms. R3, 4 ohms. And the current now calculated for is what? 3 amperes. Now, in this case here now, we might be told to calculate the voltage drop. I always calculate voltage drop in the series connection. So voltage drop means that you know one of the function of a resistor is to what is is a load in a circuit. It is used to what to to reduce the flow of what of electricity, which is electrons, right? So they accumulate electrons before this electron passes through. That's what your bulb does. Your bulb tries to slow the speed of the electron. Is that taking now? If I want to know the voltage V1 here, we call it voltage drop. Because once the current enters here, there will be a voltage drop. So what will I do? I'm going to say that what my V1 hmm, is equal to what I1 R1. We know I1 is still I in all aspects. So my I1, my V1 here will not be. Where is my I1? The I1 is the I will get because I1 is equal to what? I2 is equal to I3 is equal to I. Is that okay now? So I can say it this way that my I is equal to what? I1 is equal to what? I2 is equal to what? I3, which is what? My 3 amperes because it's a series. So now my V1 here will now be my I1 is 3. The resistance here is what? Is what? Is 2. So my V1 will now give me 6 volts. So the voltage drop, when 27 volts is coming in, if it enters here, there will be a voltage drop of 6 volts. That is for this. Then the next one, if I want to calculate for the voltage drop, for what? The 2 ohms, the R2 resistor here, it will be V2 is equal to what? I2 R2. So what is my I2? I said they are all the same, so this will be 3. Then what is my I1? My R2 says what also 3 because the resistance of the R2 ohms is 3 ohms. So this will give me what? 9 volts. So V2 is what? Is 9 volts. Are we good? Then the last guy will calculate again is V3. So V3 is equal to what? I3 R3. So my V3 here now will give me I3 is also 3, R3 is 4. So my V3 is equal to what? 12 volts. Is what? It is 12 volts. So this is the voltage drop across the R3 ohms. Now if you see that if you calculate all this, 6 volts plus 9 volts is what? Is 14. 14, this 6 volt plus 9 volts is um, 15. 15 plus 12 is 27. So if you add all the voltage, you'll be having the total voltage in the supply. Is that okay now? So that is for series connection. So the next video, I'm talking about parallel connection.